Anna, what about you? I use Google Drive and I use Dropbox. So I'll talk about both of those. I'm going to talk about Google Drive and Dropbox today. Both of these apps have gone through a lot of changes lately, and they're both very powerful. Today we're just going to cover the basics. We'll start with Google Drive. If you don't know it, Drive for Desktop was updated this summer. If you don't have the new version, you should uninstall your old version, sign out of your Google account in Chrome, and download the new version, https colon slash slash drive dot google dot com. But enough about Google for desktop. Apps list. Search your phone and more. Edit box. Let's go into Google Drive for Android. Showing items 21 to 50 of 161. Drive. Drive. Search in Drive. Edit box. Google Drive. Out of grid. When you open Google Drive, you're on the main screen. In the top left corner is a search item, which is where focus is now. More navigation options button. Next to that is the More Navigations button, which is basically Navigate Up. And in the top right corner, Signed in as Anna Garza. We have the User Account button. On some screens, we also have two additional controls. In the top left corner, below the Navigation Control, is a Sort By drop-down. And in the top right corner below the user account is a toggle for displaying information either as a grid or as a list. There's also a create button for launching Google Docs, Sheets, or Slides. You can find it in the swipe order, but for those of you who explore, it doesn't seem to take focus. This screen has two tabs across the top and four tabs across the bottom. The tabs across the top are Suggested, Selected, Suggested, Tab, One of Two. These are the files I've worked on recently and Notifications, Tab, Two of Two. Notifications, which is exactly what it sounds like. Across the bottom we have Selected, Home, Tab, 1 of 4, in list, 4 items. Home. Starred, Tab, 2 of 4. Starred. Shared, Tab, 3 of 4. Shared. Files, Tab, 4 of 4. Files. Most of the screen simply lists the documents I have. The first item I have in my list is something called house.txt. House.txt, text file, heading. To the right of it is an Actions button. More actions for house.txt button. You edited today. And right below it, it says you edited it today. And I did. I worked on it this morning. Going down. Invoice 122 underscore 3457 underscore Mayfair underscore Doctor underscore S underscore July 31st, 2021 dot PDF PDF heading. Again, to the right is the Actions button. More actions for invoice 122 underscore 3457 underscore Mayfair underscore Doctor underscore S underscore July 31st, 2021 dot PDF button. You and opened yesterday. You opened yesterday, which I did. And just as an FYI, you can tap any of these files to open them. In some cases, Drive will just read it for you. So a PDF. Drive has its own PDF viewer. Um, in the case of the text file, you'll probably get the open with screen so you can select the app that you want to open the file. Let's go back to House and we're going to tap the Actions button along the right edge of the screen. More actions for House.txt, but House.txt, 
Share. Enlist. 16 items. I'm just going to go through these, but they're pretty self-explanatory. The first one is share. Manage people and links. Manage people and links. Add to start. Add to start. Make available offline. Make available offline. Copy link. Copy link. Make a copy. Make a copy. Send a copy. Send a copy. Open with. Open with. Download. Download. Rename. Rename. Show file location. Show file location. Add shortcut to drive. Add shortcut to drive. Details and activity. Details and activity. Add to home screen. Add to home screen. Not a helpful suggestion. And not a helpful suggestion. So if I don't want this file to appear in the suggestions area, I can tap that. Report abuse. Report abuse. If somebody sends me a link that I don't want to be a part of, I can report that. One thing I do want to say, you notice that there's an offline button. That puts the file on your device so that you know you can work on it even when you don't have internet. In the past there would only be thumbnails of the files and when I would tap one the file would download. Drive would tell me to please wait. Now when I tap the files they open pretty instantly so I don't know if maybe more recent files are actually on my device. Let's go back to the main screen. Drive. More actions for house.txt. Button. Enlist. Five items. And just to explore a little, we're going to tap shared, which is one of the tabs along the bottom. Files. Tab. Four of four. Shared. Tab. Three of four. Shared. Selected. And you'll notice that I have different files here. Karina Vargas HW4 Google Docs shared Karina Vargas January 28, 2018, 8 of 16. This is one of my students who accidentally shared a file to the wrong email address. Karina Vargas HW3 Google Doc. Karina Vargas HW2 Google Docs shared. Karina Vargas HW1 Google Docs shared 11 of 16. I can use the touch and hold gesture, what a lot of people call double tap and hold, to select these homework assignments. If I do, an action bar appears across the top, and I can tap remove or one of other options. At the time of this recording, Drive doesn't tell you which one is selected after it's been selected. Hopefully that'll change in an update soon. There's one more thing I want to show you about Drive. Let's tap the navigation options in the top left corner. More navigation options button. Menu. Google Drive. We have some options here along the left edge of the screen, so let's uh, go from top to bottom. Recent. Recent. Offline. Offline. Trash. Trash. Backups. Backups. Settings. Settings. Help and feedback. Help and feedback. Storage. 344.4 megabytes of 15.0 gigabytes used. All right. Buy storage. Button. Buy and storage. Then we have um, an invitation to buy more storage. I'm going to tap recent. 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 And you'll see that I have different files from the ones that uh, were in the suggestion screen. House.txt, text file, modified by me 719 AM, 2 of 151, enlist, 151 items. Invoice 122 underscore 3457 underscore Mayfair underscore doctor underscore S underscore July 31st, 2021 dot PDF, PDF, opened by me August 19th, 3 of 151. Okay, those are the two most recent files. Checkbook. DB, unknown type, uploaded September 11th, 4 of 151. Atos.bcp, unknown type, uploaded December 6, 2020. These are some backups, and so on. So you notice that they're different files, depending on which folder I'm in. Just as a side note, if you want to copy a file from your computer to your drive so that it shows up on the phone, 
you need to make sure you put the file in the correct place. So to show you how this works, I'm going to copy a knitting pattern from my documents folder into the Google Drive folder on my desktop computer. Rib leaf pattern dot dot checked 124 of 146. It's the ribbed leaf pattern. So I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to open Google Drive. Google Drive checkbox check 16 of 24. Google Drive, G. Items view list. My drive not selected, not checked, one of two. All right, I have my drive. Other computers, check two of two. And other computers. So I'm going to uh, go my into drive, check my one of drive. Two. Items view list. Google Drive not selected, not checked, one of nine. All right, I'm going to paste. Rib leap pattern dot dot check nine of ten. Okie dokie. I can go ahead and close Drive on my desktop. Desktop list. Google Drive checkbox check 16 of 24. Now on my phone, I'm going to find out if the rib leaf pattern is there. Checkbook. DB. Invoice 100. House.txt. Text file. Modified by me 719 AM. 3 of 151. That seems to be the same file. So I can move away to another screen and come back, or I can try to refresh it by sliding two fingers down from the top along the left edge. Rib leaf pattern dot doc, Microsoft Word, uploaded March 27, 2020, 2 of 151. And there it is. Okay.